hi guys so in this video we'll talk about how you can import a certificate to AWS certificate manager so in order to import a certificate you can either have a public certificate issued by a trusted CA or you can import a self signed certificate the only thing is that the certificate should be in PEMP encoded format and the private key should be unencrypted one if you have both the certificate and the private key in PEM encoded format you can search for ACM in AWS console certificate manager open it and from the certificates from the certificate menu you need to go to import and in the certificate body section you need to first add the certificate part copy this one so I have the certificate taken out okay. and same way you need to get the a decrypted version of the key so to decrypt it you can use open SSL tool if you do not have the decrypt version you can use the open SSL tool you can go to open SSL and then you can type RSA in your key then out then a file name so I have put decrypt key so the key will be private key will be decrypted for will be in decrypted format you need to get that one so my one will be at decrypt key okay so I have already taken that one out so this is my private decrypt key So it's the same one so I'm going to put it here private key part make sure you do not have spaces or new lines underneath or at the beginning so if you have a chain you can same way extract the chain and put it here if not you can click on next and add text Next, and in here you will show you the domains, your key information, signature, uh, from with what it can be used with, certificate body, private key, certificate chain, and I'm going to put import. Okay, so I need to refresh. Okay, my my certificate is now imported successfully, and since it's an imported certificate, the renewal eligibility will be not be there and the key algorithm is 248 and the services this particular key can be used is different so if you need to find those information you need to go to ACM AWS uh, for, uh, document so everything I say about it will be in here you can read this page also so you can see this certificate for, uh, format should be there the prerequisite part the algorithm that are supported and which uh, type of algorithms are support by, support by which services so this is how you can import if you have the certificate file and the decryption uh, certificate and the key both in M format let's say you don't have those two keys you have the pfx key how you can do it so if you do not have the two PEM files, uh, certificate PEM file and the private decrypted PEM file and only you have is a PFX file you can con extract or convert the certificate and the uh, private key, key from the PX PFX file using the open SSL tool so PFX is a key store uh, encrypted by PKCS12 so 
I am going to use OpenSSL to first take the private key out from the VFX file. I'm going to give OpenSSL PKCS12 in PFX file. Then say I don't want the certificates at the moment, so no certs. Out. So sorry, so out the private key file. So private dot key. So I need to give the password for the PFX and then a password for the key. So my private key is there. Then I need to get the certificate from the PFX file. So again open SSL EKCS12 minus in then my pfx file now only certificates l certs and i don't need the key minus out certificates dot crt i'm oh, sorry i made a mistake what's that dot l certs keys so it's no keys and import password ok so as you can see I have my certificate uh, and the private key there so now I'm going to take out the key copy it's the same process are going to be there so I'm going to say, click on import paste the certificate and so I need to put the key okay and I need to decrypt the key so open SSL RSA minus in my key file and then out I need to go to passphrase for the key and the key is generated nice so cut the key out copy paste it in the key file section next add the tags message yes. next import so now my both keys are imported so as you can see there are two ways if you have the certificate and the private key decrypted private key both in PIM format directly you can directly import but if you don't have it, it separately and you only have a pfx file you can extract the both certificate and the private key from the PX, pfx file as I shown in through OpenSS, OpenSSL and import into ACM, and ACM so thank you hope this helps you guys so please subscribe and share the video for others to learn also Thank you. Have a nice day.